Hi everybody, Tesla's technology researchers, radio amateurs. This video you are going to watch is about, uh, let's say, the pure over unity. To understand first how it goes up to now, you have to watch my two last videos. So, it is kindly recommended to watch my last two videos in order to not be confused watching this one. We are going farther away, having already the good results from the last projects, and we are attempting to hit the positive phase of the wave. This is the output of the secondary coil, where the lamp is connected. This type of sine wave you have to succeed if you want to see good results. You may see now the amplitude of the system, the wavelength or the, or the period, and the time, as it goes. Saying to you that we are going to strike the top of the phase with current, where the amplitude is high, I mean this. This is going to be happen at the end, at the output of the system. And of course the result is going to be changed. Using a small extra circuit with a power MOSFET, we will make it true. It is very simple and easy to be built. Project continues and we see here the extra circuit I told you. We see the power MOSFET, IRFP460, some resistors, a 12 volt 1 watt uh, Zener diode, and at the power supply, the radio frequency choke. You may use the same you built for the catcher. And at the end, the S1, a switch after the power supply, because it is very important to be here. Since uh, the Tesla coil and the receiver coil are in resonance, then only then we can switch on this circuit with the power MOSFET. Otherwise, you may see a cold circuit happen. The input of uh, this circuit is from the collector of the power transistor of the catcher through the diode FR307, which is the fast one. L5 is the new coil we are going to use, and it is 10 turns of insulated wire wounded around the top of the receiver coil. A 30 centimeter insulated wire is connected from uh, the top of the receiver coil, coil inside the L2, the secondary of the catcher, freeway. Before we go further, let's see what we got from the last experiment. Please have a good look on the oscilloscope and remember what uh, the waveforms from the input, Tesla coil, and the output the receiver coil. All right, this is the new setup. On the right side, you can see the power MOSFET on the head sink. Let's see it, see it now from the left. You see now the catcher, the Tesla coil, and pay attention to the primary, the feedback coil, and the other side, the receiver coil with the L5, the new coil. In the middle, uh, the, power, um, uh, the power transistor of the catcher. L5. This one. This is the new circuit. All the components on the air build it. Very simple. And the bulb, which is always shining may be extra bright this time, much more than before. This is the new circuit, very easy to be built, I showed you before. Now let's see the power supply, how much con consumes. Uh, one and a half amp, 26 volt I'm reading now. It is uh, not so much power for such a bright from the output uh, from the lamp. I know you wouldn't believe me if I say to you that the bulb is almost full bright, but I can show you the output on the oscilloscope as it is shown now.
video is taken with a cell phone, that's why the picture is not so right. This is the whole setup. And we can read on the oscilloscope the amplitude. Right here we can see the catcher, the input, the Tesla coil, and the output. You see how it is now, completely different and very, very good amplified. The scale of the oscilloscope to see in the same position, no tricks. Everything I'm, I'm showing you now is the truth. You can repeat it by yourself to see. It's like a result, very, very easy. It's all about resonance, as I told you before. This kind of uh, super amplification is thanks to this concept. To strike with current, I repeat, with current, the positive or the negative half period of the wave. Let's have a look again to the new to the new coil L5, which is uh, around uh, the receiver coil. It's 10 turns of insulated wire. This is the wire inside the Tesla coil and acts as a capacitor. It is connected at the top of the receiver coil, 30 cm out, and goes inside the pipe L2 of the catcher or Tesla coil. Now we can see it is 1 amp, the current drops, and uh, we can see that the bulb is shining less as before. I'm testing now the coils and we can see that around the Tesla coil is high voltage and around the receiver coil is high current. It is transformed from the tap where getting electric power, we are reading no voltage at all. It is because of the low induction. But there is plenty of power.